सदाशिव शंकराचार्य मध्यमाम अस्मदाचार्य पर्यंताम वंदे गुरु परंपराम ओ नैष्कर्म्य सिद्धि थर्ड चैप्टर ोपलक्ष्य ಸುರೇಶ್ವರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಡೀಲಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ತತ್ವಂ ಅಸಿ ಛಾಂದೋಗ್ಯ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ಛಾಂದೋಗ್ಯ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸಾಮವೇದ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ತ್ವಂ ಅಸಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ಎ ಆರ್ ಇ ಆರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗುರು ಈಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಶ್ವೇತಕೇತ್ ಉದ್ದಾಲಕ ದಿ ಫಾದರ್ ಕಮ್ ಗುರು ಬೋತ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಗುರು ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹಿಸ್ ಸನ್ ಕಮ್ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ಬೋತ್ ಓ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಸನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ Every father should teach like that to his son. Every grandfather should teach like that. That is uh, wonderful. Most reliable teaching. <laughs> you are that, Uddhalaka said. Then uh, Shweta Ketu has to say, Yes, Aham Brahma Asmi. That Mahavakya. Aham means I am. Brahma, Brahman. asmi am i am brahman this uh, mahavakya comes in brihadaranya upanishad which belongs to shukla yajurveda taitri upanishad belongs to krishna yajurveda brihadaranya upanishad is an expansion of isha vasya upanishad isha vasya upanishad is mantra upanishad brihadaranya upanishad is ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣೋಪನಿಷತ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬೃಹದಾರಣ್ಯಕ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಅಹಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ತತ್ವಮಸಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅಟ್ಟರ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಟೀಚರ್ ಅಹಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅಟ್ಟರ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಅಟ್ಟರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಗುರು ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಲೌಡ್ಲಿ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ guru cannot say in his mind tatvamasi he has to say outside through shravanam shishya lism then shishya has to understand yes aham brahma asmi so this tatvam shabdam so you have to understand sarvanama shabdas aham ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ಅಹಂ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸರ್ವನಾಮ ಶಬ್ದ ಸೊ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ಗ್ರಾಮರ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡು ನಾಟ್ ನೋ ಗ್ರಾಮರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಡಸೆಂಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ತ್ರೀ ಸ್ಟೇಜಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಲೆವೆಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವೆನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಾಮಾನಾಧಿಕರಣ್ಯ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸಂಬಂಧ ತತ್ ತ್ವಂ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ತತ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ತ್ವಂ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಯು ಯು ಆರ್ ದಟ್ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ದೋತ್ ಆರ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಅಧಿಕರಣ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಎಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಸಾಮಾನಾಧಿಕರಣ್ಯ ಸಂಬಂಧ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ then second 
संबंध इज विशेषण विशेष्य संबंध दट विच वी कंप्लीटेड इन द लास्ट क्लास विशेषण मीन एडजेक्टिव विशेष्य मीन नौन सो नौन एंड एडजेक्टिव ईच वन म्यूचुअली क्वालिफाइज दि अदर जीवात्मा ईज काल तम परमात्मा ईज काल तत् सो तम ईज द विशेषण टू विशेष्य तत् दट ईज परमात्मा तम पद जीव ईज द अर्थ जीव ईज द विशेषण फर् दट विशेष्य दि परमात्मा नौन That means jiva qualifies the paramatma, or jiva the visheshanam adjective, and paramatma you take as noun, qualifying each other mutually. So jiva atma status qualifies the paramatma. Then second, that the paramatma. is also visheshanam to the visheshyam jeevatma visheshya jeevatma is qualified by the tat visheshana paramatma so paramatma status qualify the jeevatma this is the mutual qualifying each other jeevatma and paramatma visa but here the pura pakshi objects how can you say each one qualifies the other jeevatma qualifying paramatma paramatma qualifying jeevatma how is it possible because pura pakshi ask jeevatma is samsari is endowed with saro attribute paramatma is uh, distinct both are different how can you qualify them each other mutually what he want to say pura pakshi paramatma tat tat means that that means paroksham paroksham means karana karanam paramatma karana paramatma is remote not proximate once you say that it is very far that cause paramatma is the cause and jeevatma is the karyam who is present now you the jeevatma karyam who is present now that karana paramatma is not present here so karana paramatma is somewhere and karya jeevatma is here at present so karana is in distance karya jeevatma is here in front of me or in front of you hmm? so therefore how each one qualifies the other karana and karya have lot of distance and remoteness kala bheda is there that paramatma this jeevatma so kala bheda is there therefore vartamana karya jeeva how can he qualifies the bhuta kala karana paramatma how past paramatma qualify the present jeevatma how the past karana paramatma qualifies the present vartamana present jeevatma karya jeevatma is the objection of pura pakshi then we have to go to third one we are forced to take laksha lakshana sambandha third level of uh, mahavakya presentation what we have to say laksha lakshana sambandha what is lakshanam what is lakshyam that he is analyzing elaborately here in this verse third level of presentation of mahavakya what sureshwara acharya says don't see the contradictions 
don't see the contradictions you see the only commonality what are the common features only you have to take bhaga tyaga which is contradicting contradicting features you have to drop jahati jahal lakshana what are all common features to both of them jeevatma paramatma you should not live ajahat jahat ajahat contradicting features you have to jahat ha datu ho hak tyage the derivation comes dhatu comes ho hak tyage that is jahat comes from the ha dhat then ajahat also comes from that only jada jahad ajahal lakshana one part of that um, tat vachyartha and vachyartha of uh, paramatma vachyartha of jeevatma you have to drop vachyartha means what primary meaning primary meaning visible meaning you have to drop invisible meaning indirect meaning implied meaning is called lakshyartha hidden meaning you have to take that is the job you have to do in lakshya lakshana sambandha so how to do that that lakshya lakshana in the last class i gave an example lal gudi kare kudi and shammangudi Uh, you have to drop the place you have to take the names of those people violinist vocalist mridangist uh, lal gudi when i say you have to drop that name lal gudi is a place what i mean implied meaning jay raman violinist understood but i didn't say today who's concert na lal gudi shammangudi and karikudi concert program so that is the visible meaning primary meaning vachyartha but uh, they will not suit each other places cannot come and um, give a concert therefore you have to go for implied meaning lakshyartha so the lakshyartha alone will work there you will take their names kare kodi mani you have to take mani you have to take srinivas ayyar you have to take jayaraman you have to take they alone can give the concert but i didn't tell the names of those three i have given only their initials in their uh, native place like that many uh, occasions we use like that now pakistan uh, and uh, bharat playing now we should not call india bharat okay bharat match is going on and countries cannot uh, play sri lanka bharat uh, cricket match and uh, countries cannot play the citizens of that country players of that country and bharat are playing understood understood like that uh, lakshana lakshya that uh, idea is presented in this uh, verse we'll see very very important verse there is uh, one sambandha between lakshya lakshana sambandha lakshya lakshana aashriya aashrita sambandha janya janaka sambandha so lakshya lakshana sambandha because samanaadhikaranya sambandha visheshana visesha sambandha and lakshya lakshana sambandha sambandha is coming there is a relation between this tat and tvam then pura pakshi ask a question when we want to give lakshya lakshana sambandha vachyartha lakshyartha meaning what pura pakshi says again sambandha you are telling sambandha comes how asanga atma paramatma can have sambandha in lakshya lakshana sambandha asanga atma cannot have sambandha <coughs> therefore 
आ निर्विकल्पस्य असंग आत्मनः कथम सविकल्प ससंग जीवात्मना संबध्यते हाउ यू कैन यू टॉक अबाउट द संबंध नौ दैट श्लोक दिस इलेवेन्थ वर्ष वाट्स सुरेश आचार्य वॉन्ट टू से टू वर्ड्स आर् यूज इन दिस श्लोक प्रत्यक् एंड कूटस्थ बोध वेरी वेरी डीप इनवाल्व श्लोक प्रत्यक् एंड कूटस्थ हियर इट मीन इनवर्डने प्रत्यक् मीन इनवर्डने इंटीरियरने प्रत्यक् एंड कूटस्थ बोध मीन सेलफुड सेलफुड द फस्ट फीचर ऑफ आत्मा ही गिव्स आत्मा द प्योर कॉन्शियने हेज गॉट एसेंशियल टू एसेंशियल फ्यूचर्स वन फ्यूचर फस्ट फ्यूचर इज प्रत्यक् द इनर मोस्ट नेचर इनवर्डने इंटीरियरने मैंड ईज ऊटवर्ड्स एक्सटीरियर एक्सटीरियर मैंड ईज ऊटवर्ड्स कंपेर् टू कॉन्शियने कंपेर् टू कूटस्थ बोध ईज कॉन्शियने मैंड ईज ऊटवर्ड्स कंपेर् टू कॉन्शियने मैंड ईज इनवर्ड्स कंपेर् टू एक्सटर्नल वर्ल्ड इन उपदेश साहस्री वीसा एलॉबरेटली सो कॉन्शियने हेज गॉट रियल सेलफुड दट ईज द प्रत्यक्ता इंटिमसी आर सेलफुड कॉन्शियने हेज गॉड दट ईज रियल सेलफुड देन सेकेंड फीचर ऑफ आत्मा इज कूटस्थ बोध द फस्ट वर्ड इन द श्लोक इज कॉल्ड कूटस्थ बोध दट मीन Changeless consciousness. Kutastha means changeless. Changeless consciousness. This is the second future of uh, Atma. This is the meaning. Tvam according to Upanishad. Tvam pada according to Upanishad. It is indirectly uh, revealed by the mind. Mind also has got pratyektvam and selfhood, and it also has got consciousness. So changing conscious mind is also conscious. It conscious of knowing things. So here, mind has got changing consciousness. Atma has got a, a changeless consciousness. the primary meaning secondary meaning we have to see now so primary meaning of tvam is mind ahankara primary meaning of tvam or i when guru says tvam shishya says i primary meaning of i is mind secondary meaning of i is called atma so atma when i say i am higher i and lower i higher i is atma lower i is ahankara the mind now what is the difference between atma and ahankara i atma i and ahankara i <laughs> the difference is atma has got absolute interiorness and that is what he says nimittam animittam sadatmanaha means it is absolute interiorness atmanaha sada means sat two meanings you can take sada atmanaha all the time this selfhood and interiorness are there for atma and mind doesn't have that intrinsic interiorhood and selfhood interior uh, inwardness and selfhood 
both are not intrinsic for the mind or ahankara. Therefore, mind has got a pseudo inward pseudo selfhood. Mind has got pseudo selfhood, relative inwardness. These are the four words you have to remember. To consciousness, atma, and the mind, what is the difference? He is going to explain in this eleventh and twelfth verses. Atma, I the Atma Lakshartha I, when I say the Lakshartha I is that which has got um, uh, absolute selfhood. Aham Pratyakta means interiorness, absolute inwardness, not a relative inwardness but absolute inwardness, whereas mind has got a relative inwardness. Relative inwardness means when you are in Jagradavastha, mind is directly experiencing the world. But when you go to Sushupti, mind Sakshi Pratyaksham Manaha. Mind is an object of that Atma when you go to Sushupti. That is why mind is relatively inwards. It is not, in Sushupti it is not inwards, it is outwards. It is objectified by the Sakshi. That is why mind alone has um, got um, uh, a relative selfhood, pseudo selfhood, relative interiorness. So the mind alone we are referring as um, I. When I say the I, Ahankara I, I am. Uh, traveling after death, I get to Punya, I go somewhere, higher Lokas, when we talk, that is Ahankara I, primary I, Ahankara I, that which has got Punar Janma, etc., we talk. So, I am, means uh, two are there, mind also referring to I, which is a relative, inwardness which has got relative in inwardness and pseudo selfhood how pseudo selfhood why relative interiorness i will tell you in the following portion <clears throat> so the referring to the mind only when i say i have punya i have papa uh, i have dukkha all these are uh, belong to the lower I, Ahankara I. Words are changed, that's all, you know the subject. So, Atma has got changeless consciousness, mind has got changing consciousness, changing consciousness. Mind has got changing consciousness as its attribute, because it is not permanent. In Sushupti, mind is not uh, conscious of. Uh, total deep sleep, mind is not conscious of itself. It is like any other object, book, part, they are not conscious of themselves. Mind, carefully listen here, in Jagradavastha, mind is conscious of book, mind is conscious of pot, mind is conscious of this and that. Conscious of. But in Sushupti, mind is not conscious of anything. If mind is conscious of, it has got awareness in Sushupti also, it is not Sushupti. It is not sleep. It is waking state. That is why mind is not conscious of. That is why it has got a changing consciousness. In Sushupti it is not there. In Jagradavastha again it is conscious of. But book, part, house, they are ever unconscious. Book will never be conscious of anything. Part can never be conscious of anything. House can never be conscious of anything. So they are ever unconscious, inert, ever. Mind has got temporary consciousness. Mind is also inert only. But it has got temporary consciousness, changing consciousness. So that is the primary meaning of Thvam. Vachartha I. Mind has got a changing consciousness as its attribute. 
this is uh, the pseudo self i am self means i when you say i i am happy i am sorrowful means that is pseudo i pseudo self pseudo spelling correct up put kono p s e u d o pseudo hmm? pseudo self primary meaning of tvam tvam has got primary meaning and secondary meaning primary meaning tvam you are when guru says body mind complex that is primary meaning vachartha that brahman you are when guru says that is guru referring to lakshyartha <coughs> lakshyartha means higher i that which is a permanent absolute interior selfhood and uh, uh, relative not relative not nimittam it is animittam sadatmanah that is the word the changeless consciousness absolutely real self is a secondary meaning of i when guru says you are that and uh, not panchakoshas panchakoshas you have to refute I am not Annamaya, Pranamaya, Vijnanamaya, Manomaya, Anandamaya. I am Kosha Vilakshana. That is the secondary meaning of Aham. Lakshartha. That is not visible. That is not available. Implied. This changeless consciousness, absolute real self. In is the secondary meaning of I. Now you want to claim secondary I meaning or primary meaning i if you claim your primary meaning i mind ahankara you will have birth death old age all limitations will be there bound to be there punya papa naraka swarga all bound to be there no 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 who want to claim that primary i i want to claim secondary i which is secondary i is blessing the primary i even primary i is primary i because of secondary i i the consciousness real selfhood real selfhood absolutely inward all the time absolute selfhood ever interior all the time that i am blessing the ahankara the mind i the sakshi am the lakshartha ahankara is the vachartha so ahankara is ahankara because of my blessing my blessing means vach uh, lakshartha aham blessing the vachartha aham lakshartha aham is sakshi chaitanyam blessing with consciousness the vachartha ahankara when we are talking we are using very loosely i am i am i am but here what is the sambandha atma alone lend the sentience to the primary i pseudo i that is mind to make the mind as pseudo i i the higher i has to bless i the real real i bless the false i hmm or in short i want to say real i the atma sakshi chaitanyam blessing the false i vyavaharika i interacting i which is interacting all the time so therefore what is the conclusion mind does not have natural capacity to become ahankara mind does not have natural capacity to become ahankara or the lower i pseudo i false i even that false i status also blessed by me the real i this is the first future so i the um mind is subject from the world angle 
and mind is the object from me, the Sakshi Chaitanya angle. I observe my mind in Sushupti. So, mind is subject also, object also. In Upadesa Sastri, we saw elaborately. Mind is the seer number uh, one and two. Both the roles are there, seer and seen. World is ever seen, Atma is ever seer, and uh, mind is uh, seen and seer both. <laughs> Remember Upadesa Sahasri and Panchadeshi also we saw this. Now, second feature, what mind is inert, material, matter, and made out of pancha bhutas. But uh, aham, the atma, real I, is not made out of pancha bhutas. I lend uh, chidabhasa to the mind. Then mind becomes pseudo I. But we are taking, agnanis are taking, not we. We are all intelligent, wise now. <laughs> okay, agnanis are taking that pseudo I, lower I, vachartha I, hankara I, interacting I as a real. Taking that uh, pseudo I, vachartha I, lower I, <laughs> what are all names you see? Okay, <clears throat> that I, if they take uh, as uh, themselves, that is called samsara. No more taking of this uh, pseudo I. Okay, pseudo I, I don't want to claim, but I make use of pseudo I. I make use of false I, primary I, vachartha I. I make use of it for worldly interactions, as mother, as father, as brother, as sister, as wife, everyone playing their role with the pseudo I. Atma cannot play any role. <laughs> that is why Sambandha is also not a real Sambandha. Puravakshi is going to ask that. <clears throat> what he is going to ask, Atma and mind has got Sambandha, you are telling, there is no Sambandha. Uh, real I produce um, into, uh, is a Real I is the producer, okay? <laughs> False I is the produced. <coughs> producer is the subject, produced is the object. <coughs> so, mind converted into what? Pseudo I, okay? Mind has got pseudo I status because of my, my, you know, what you call my the lending the sentiency produced pseudo i is vachartha producer uh, real i is lakshartha i how many words producer real i is lakshartha i claiming that lakshartha i real i producer i producer of what producer of the produced mind as ahankara lower i husband I, wife I, children, child I, all these are pseudo I, whatever name, form. So, Atma is having that Karanam status as it were, Sanidhya Matrena, Adhishtana Rupena, Karanam Bhavati, Natu Nija Karanam. That is a Karya Karana, Vilakshanam or Vivartha Karanam we can say. Atma has got uh, Karanam status and uh, yes, Karanam status by its mere presence. Sanidhya matrena Karanam bhavati. Adhishtana rupena Karanam bhavati. Source, or we can say, um, Vivartha Karanam. Without undergoing any change, it is as though Karanam. Bhagatyaga Lakshana. Clearly. So, Hankara has got what? Uh, disappearance. In sleep it disappears. But Aham, higher I never disappear. So, Kutastha, word is used here, doesn't have location. Kutastha is there in Jagadavastha also. Kutastha is there in Sushupti also. But Hankara doesn't have 
లొకేషన్ అహంకార్ హెస్ గట్ లొకేషన్ ఓన్లీ ఇన్ జాగ్రత్త అవస్థ నాట్ ఇన్ సుషుప్తి అవస్థ దట్ ఈస్ వై కాన్షియస్నెస్ ఈ చేంజ్ లెస్ దట్ ఈస్ ద ఫస్ట్ నేచర్ రియల్ సెల్ఫ్ హుడ్ ఈస్ ద సెకండ్ నేచర్ ఫ్రమ్ అనిమిత్తం మీన్స్ అన్బారూడ్ వర్డ్ టు వర్డ్ మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ ది శ్లోక అనిమిత్తం మీన్స్ అన్బారూడ్ సదాత్మన పర్మనెంట్ ఆర్ ఇంట్రెన్సిక్ సెల్ఫ్ హుడ్ సదాత్మన అనిమిత్త మీన్స్ అన్కండీషనల్ సెల్ఫ్ హుడ్ సదా ఆత్మ మీన్స్ ఎవర్ ది సెల్ఫ్ నెవర్ ది నాన్ సెల్ఫ్ ఓకే ఎవర్ ది సెల్ఫ్ చేంజ్ లెస్ సెల్ఫ్ టు ఆర్ ద attributes of atma as it were so mind doesn't have that selfhood real selfhood or changeless consciousness because i bless the mind with chidabhasa therefore it has got changing consciousness like um, water borrows heat from the fire the heat in the water is a borrowed heat but heat in the fire is not borrowed it is original essential heat fire has got real heat but water doesn't have heat of its own borrowed similarly mind is also like a water borrowed heat from the atma that is consciousness don't take real heat bodhruta ahamta see the second line bodhruta ahamta see then the two lines how much Sureshwara Acharya kept the essence. Bodhruta means no more hood. <coughs> no more hood belongs to the mind. No more I. No more hood. I know this. I know that. I know this. That no more hood of the mind changing consciousness of the mind. How inert the mind can know? Because I have lent the sentience of Chidabhasa to the mind. then mind become the false i pseudo i self hood it has got a uh, false self hood and it started knowing everything and namake idu theriyavala achipichu madri i am knowing i am knowing i am knowing anna idu vida mosamana nilama irukka ignorance is the sin actually not knowing i am the real i Hmm? taking the pseudo i ahankara as myself is the sin really speaking agnyanam is the sin vere sin pathi yosikave venda endha paapam pannano adu idu adella apram adella second paapam first paapam is what agnyanam agnyanam irukirade agnyananaye narish pandrade da paapam nijama ena because of that agnyanam only any other paapam so people do okay huh? first cut off snatch that uh, agnana sin namma idu vittite anda paapam inda paapam sanchita paapam aagami paapam prarabdha paapam idu pathi think pannindi irpa uh, think panna vendi edho think pannanum according to shastra ignorance is sin why because of which ignorance atma agnanam a human being perform many types of uh, no evil actions curse it is like a curse shapam agnyanam is like a shapam come as early as possible out of agnyanam listen more and more shastra <laughs> and i am advertising for my classes in advertising edukahanna one kahada na for every student sake so no more hood Uh, knownness, knowerhood and changing consciousness of the mind is called bodhrita. Then ahamta, the pseudo-selfhood, non, non and children, I am, 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 ఇల్లాద ఇల్లాటాలు కూడా ఇరుకర మాదిరి దానా వేల పండ్రా అది నెయిల్ టు హెయిర్ ఆల్ దిస్ కాల్డ్ సూడో సెల్ఫ్ హుడ్ ఆఫ్ ద మైండ్ అహంతా 
Sanskrit words aham ta, the ego status of the mind, the ahankara status belong to the mind, lower I, vachartha I, by the grace of a higher I, if I the lakshartha I withdraw, suppose chidavasa I withdraw, what will happen? Pseudo I doesn't exist. <laughs> Mm. Like a mirror, I stand in front of my mirror, my reflected face is there. I bless the mirror to form a false face. False face, pseudo face. This is a real face. Real face is blessing the pseudo face. But you put Bindi, Kumkuma, Chandanam, where pseudo face or real face? No, 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 here in the rim. Mirror you never keep, here you keep. Like that you claim, I am Brahman. Hmm? What do you mean? I am Brahman. That finger peers into all pancha kosha stand. Sorry. Uh, then what? Uh, second line. No? He to who? Aham tayo ho. Hetuhu. Hetuhu means karanam. Aham tayo ho hetuhu bhavati. Tena. Therefore, kutastha bodha pratyaktvam of the atma is the cause for the bodhruta ahamta of the mind in the essence. What is the essence? Kutastha bodha, real self, pratyaktvam. Inner interiorness, absolute interiorness of the Atma is the cause for Bodhrita, Novarhood and Ahamta, changing consciousness of the mind is Tabhyam. Their falsehood, no? uh, the falsehood and changing consciousness, both of them the real self and changeless consciousness is the indirectly revealed. So, changing consciousness, bodhruta and ahamta, the mind changing consciousness, vachartha I is indirectly revealing the lakshartha I. This is called lakshyam. Vachartha I is lakshanam. This is called Laksha Lakshana Sambandha. Okay. This is sentence is very important. The real self and changing, changeless consciousness is indirectly reveal the Lakshartha. False self and changing consciousness indirectly revealed. That is Vachartha. So simple, you see, mind, the ahankara, is meant for what? Mind, the ahankara, pseudo I, is the lakshanam to reveal the lakshyam, higher I. Reflected face is to reveal the original face. Similarly, reflected face like pseudo I, the ahankara, meant for what? To reveal the original face like Changeless consciousness, Takshartha I. What a beautiful verse. Tabhya means through those two, the real Atma is revealed. Through those two means what? Ahamta Bhoktruta. Atma only blessing. By getting blessing, that Ahamta and Bhoktruta, both of them are revealing me the Atma. I am only blessing the reflected face in the mirror. But the reflected face uh, helping me to see the original face. I cannot see my face. I bless the mirror to form my reflected face. And the reflected face purpose is what? To show my real face. What a beautiful example. Appa. I en am enjoying. I hope you are also enjoying. Original face is like... Uh, Lakshartha I. Uh, Vachartha I is what? Vachartha I is a reflected face like. 
இந்த எக்ஸாம்பிள் வச்சுட்டு கண்ணாடி முன்னாடி உட்கார்ந்து திங்க் அபவுட் திஸ் மோர் அண்ட் மோர் அண்ட் மோர் ஹண்ட்ரட்ஸ் ஆஃப் டைம்ஸ் ரிஃப்ளெக்டட் ஃபேஸ் மிரர் அண்ட் ஒரிஜினல் ஃபேஸ் மிரர் இஸ் லைக் எ மைண்ட் சிதாபாசா லோவர் ஐ அஹங்காரா இஸ் லைக் எ ரிஃப்ளெக்டட் ஃபேஸ் அண்ட் ஒரிஜினல் ஃபேஸ் இஸ் ரியல் லக்ஷார்த்த ஐ அஹம் லக்ஷார்த்த ஐ கெனாட் பி ரிவீல்ட் வித்தவுட் வாச்சார்த்த ஐ வாச்சார்த்த ஐ இஸ் பிளெஸ்டு பை மீ ஃபார் வாட் பர்பஸ் டு ரிவீல் த லக்ஷார்த்த ஐ this is the meaning of vachartha and lakshartha so kotastha bodha pratyaktvam animittam sadatmanah so the ever changeless consciousness is unconditional it is changeless kotastha bodha means bodha means consciousness kotastha means changeless consciousness pratyaktvam interiorness absolute absolute interiorness inwardness selfhood it is animittam unconditional not depending upon anything but uh, the interiorness pseudo interior selfhood uh, and uh, changing interiorness changing selfhood and uh, pseudo i of the mind is uh, um, not uh, animittam but nimittam it has got a karanam that is called hetu in the first line animittam what is said atma i am lakshartha i is unconditionally absolutely real selfhood and uh, ever inner ever the subject never the object but second line bodhruta hamta hetuhu tabhyam tena lakshate so these are two uh, knownness known knowerhood and cha- changing consciousness pseudo i both of them are meant to reveal my higher nature appa over second next next sloka introduction i will read uh, 12th verse introduction இவ்வளோ சொன்னாலும் சொல்லிட்டே இருக்கலாம் ஓகே புத்தே கூட்டஸ்த போத பிரத்யக்வ நிமித்தே போதா பிரத்யக்வே ஏ தசாதாரணே தயோர் விசேஷன விசேஷவச்சனம் நவ் ஆஃப் திஸ் ஆத்மா தி கூட்டஸ்த போத அண்ட் பிரத்யக்வம் போத் ஆஃப் தெம் both are different from the pseudo i pratyaktva nimitte bodhruta pratyaktve etu asadharane because of this uh, real i higher i blessed by me the lower i is formed ahankara is formed and it, it is different from the higher i asadharane both bodhrut bodhrutvam and pratyaktvam there is a different how asadharana means a difference is there now that is going to be distinction vishesha vachanam the distinction is going to be talked going to be explained in the 12th verse pura pakshi asked how the sambandha can happen and further he is going to explain about the lakshya lakshana sambandha again by saying that brahman is asangaha because brahman is not really doing any action lending the chidavasa standing in front of the mirror real face is appearing in the mirror what action you have done in your presence mirror is there that uh, your face is formed you have not done any job of reflecting let uh, asking the mirror 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 you reflect my face you are asking are you doing any action 
mere presence of your face your face is formed there mind is also same like a mirror that is uh, given here atma has got uh, real selfhood mind has got only false selfhood mind also has got uh, selfhood false selfhood that is why we mix up and mess up this much we have to study otherwise we take mind body complex as real how can we say swamini world is unreal world is false na false da mind is not real whatever thought comes in the mind is also lower order of reality therefore you cannot uh, talk about uh, the reality of the world so presence uh, the pseudo i and uh, real i the difference is going to sh- be shown in the 12th verse further bodhruta kartruta buddhe karmata syadaham taya tayoraikyam yatha buddho purvayoreva matmani so in that introduction what he says the mind cognizing capacity cognizing power bodhruta means cognizing power or knowing power knowing power is there or not you are listening to my class how your mind through ahankara you are listening to what class national siddhi this is called bodhruta no our food knowing power and uh, bodhruta and kartruta so buddhehe bodhruta and kartruta so he said pratyaktvam introduction la anubandha ukti there he said pratyaktvam pratyakta and bodhruta so kutastha bodhyatvam um pratyaktvam nimitte bodhruta pratyakve bodhruta means consciousness pratyakve means inwardness interiorness tu asadharane tu tvasadharane is there you have to split properly tu plus asadharane that means mutually different what is mutually different pseudo i and real i both are mutually different asadharane tayoh visesha vachana their distinction through this shloka you can understand so unchanging awareness changing awareness huh? changing awareness and interiorness also is a not absolute interiorness mind doesn't have absolute interiorness from the standpoint of atma it is outside from the standpoint of world it is inside so it is inside and outside both that is why it is not uh, having uh, changeless inwardness it is not uh, permanent so that immediate self uh, um, non non and children that it is not its own it is borrowed these qualities hmm, are explained to show how they are different how um, they inhere in the self permanently and in the mind how they are not intrinsic how they are not permanent in the mind so the condition conditional unconditional hetu and animitta for mind there is a hetu nimittam is there for mind to become lower i what is the hetu higher i i higher i i am atma changeless consciousness to be changeless consciousness what is the nimittam or hetu condition nothing if you want to get a more clarity fire is hot because of what fire is hot because of what 
unconditional. Animittam. Hetu is not there. Fire is hot. On the other hand, you have to put another uh, um, uh, reverse question. Whatever is hot is called fire. <laughs> Whatever is called hot is fire. It is natural, intrinsic. And water, heat, conditional. If you put on the stove only, it is condition. You have to switch on the lighter gas stove. Or you have to put in uh, um, some uh, hot uh, plate. Nimittam, Ketu. Mind is sentient. Mind is playing the lower I status because of I the consciousness. That is what he want to say. The mind, um, buddhehe, the mind, mind here buddhi means mind. It is uh, having bodhrita. Bodhrita means uh, knowing power, knower food. And kartrita, karmata, it becomes an object also. Object from the standpoint of the mind. Consciousness is ever the subject, world is ever the object, mind is subject, object, both. That means lower I, Hankara I is the subject also from the standpoint of the world. I know, I know you say. Then I am the subject and the knower of the book, house and book, pen, house and objects. I am the knower of the house, book means what? You are the subject. You, the mind, ahankara, lower I, the subject is permanent subject or temporary subject? Temporary. Why not permanent? You go to sleep. Where this I, the subject has gone? The knower subject. Knower, are you knower of book in the sleep? Are you the knower of the house? In the sleep? Are you the knower of the anything in the sleep? No. Where your subjecthood has gone? If you are the mind, ahankara, pseudo I, if you are, where it has gone? It must be there permanently. It is not absolute. Then in sleep, you say somebody is there to register, I don't know anything, I slept well. Why you don't know? All sense organs are not available. Who is that registering? That is the self. Higher I. Real I. Absolute I. This is ahankara. Changing I. So, kartruta. Doerhood also. Doership. Kartruta. Karmata. Ahantayasyat. All these are possible to the lower eye because of ahamtaya, because of ahankara, the mind, its knowing power. I am the doer, I am the knower. The same I am the doer, knower is becoming the object of experience. Same ahankara, this I am ahamtaya syat. Being the object of the word I. Karma ta means being the object of the word I. Tayoho aikyam. Both are empirical. The consciousness and empirical selfhood. Both, both of them means bodhruta and kartruta. Both of them are Empirical Vyavaharikam. Are they separate from me, the original I? The re re reflected face is separate from me? Does it exist separately without me? That's what he is asking. Tayoho Aikyam. Both are one and the same. Reflected face doesn't exist without original face. Similarly, Bhotruta and Kartruta 
uh, all these uh, are not uh, going to be there if I withdraw. Tayoho aikyam. So they are not there really. Purvayoho evam atmani. Evam atmani. This is uh, uh, the parents. <laughs> the parents of uh, the abs parents are absolute consciousness, absolute selfhood. The parents of uh, knowerhood and uh, no uh, selfhood, interiorness, knowerhood, selfhood of the lower I, who are the parents? Hmm? Parents are Atmani, uh, absolute consciousness, higher I and changeless uh, consciousness. Changeless uh, consciousness, selfhood, absolute selfhood, changeless consciousness. Changeless consciousness, I am the Lakshartha. Absolute selfhood, I the Lakshartha. am the parent-like for changing consciousness, pseudo-self, mind, ahankara. More in the next class. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnamiva Vasishate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Om